The Mansi are believed to have migrated to the western Siberian forests from the Ural Mountains region around the end of the first millennium C. For centuries, they lived as semi-nomadic hunters, fishers, and reindeer herders, organized into tribal clans. In the 15th to 16th centuries, the Mansi came under increasing pressure from the Siberian Khanate, a Tatar state that emerged after the decline of the Golden Horde. The Khanate imposed tribute collection and conducted raids, sometimes taking Mansi people as slaves or conscripts. The Mansi's relationship with Russia changed significantly during the late 16th century, particularly with the arrival of Yermak Timofeyevich, a Cossack leader commissioned by the Stroganov merchants and backed by the Tsardom of Russia. Yermak's campaign against the Siberian Khanate led to the defeat of Khan Kukum. Many Mansi tribes chose to ally with Russia against the Siberian Tatars. In return for their support and tribute in furs, they were granted a degree of autonomy. The Mansi language belongs to the Ugric branch of the Uralic language family, making it closely related to Kanti and more distantly to Hungarian. Today, the language is highly endangered, with fewer than 1,000 fluent speakers, most of whom are elderly. It is written in a Cyrillic-based script, and efforts are being made to preserve it through education and media. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of eight modern Monsies who had their DNA sequenced by the Human Origins Project. I ran them through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis to identify their genetic traits. I used Snipper 3 for eye color prediction as it is more suitable in this case due to low coverage in the HERC2 OCA2 region. But first, let's go over their QP admixture results. I made a Mesolithic model for them, according to which they have a significant portion of Eastern hunter-gatherer ancestry at 34%, but also East Eurasian ancestry at 48% and Mediterranean ancestry, scoring 9% Anatolian Neolithic farmer and 8% Caucasus hunter-gatherer. I also made a recent model for Monsies, modeling them as a mixture of Indo-European Tagars, Uralic inhabitants of Bolshoi Olini Ostrov, and Baikal foragers. According to this model, the Mansi should have around 36% Indo-European ancestry. I also made a Paleolithic DNA model. Here, I modeled Mansi as a mixture of ancient North Eurasian, Western hunter-gatherer, Zadzwana, and Eastern Asian. The Mansi ended up being exactly half Eastern Asian, with the remaining ancestry being 27% ancient North Eurasian, 12% Zadzwana, and 10% Western hunter-gatherer. I also ran FST statistics on these Mansis. They ended up closest to Siberian Tatars, Nogai, Kazakhs, Uyghurs, and other Turkic peoples. I found it interesting, however, that they were closer to Udmurts than Mongols, and closer to Mongols than all Russians. The populations furthest from them were Komani South African hunter-gatherers and Muti Pygmies in Africa. Every male among the Mansis sampled carried Y lineage N. The most common predicted phenotypes were Valgid and Turinid. Four samples were predicted to have brown eyes and four were predicted to have intermediate eye colors. The most common hair color was dark brown, but two samples also scored black hair. The most common skin color was olive, but one sample scored light brown and one sample scored white skin. Almost all samples scored wavy hair, but one sample also scored a straight hair texture. Almost all samples with the exception of two scored a snub nose shape. All samples scored rather low for odds of male pattern baldness. Most samples scored high for odds of autism, and three samples carried risk variants for bipolar in the ADCY2 gene. Four samples were predicted to have low empathy and four average. Surprisingly, four of the Monsies sampled carried European lactose tolerance variants in LCT. Only two samples carried risk variants for colorblindness in OPN1SW, and almost all samples had very high odds of allergies. The Mansi had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, type 2 diabetes, and average odds of Alzheimer's. The Mansi had low odds of stroke, very high predisposition to atrial fibrillation, and high predisposition to various cardiovascular issues. The Mansi had high odds of depression, low odds of bipolar disorder type 1, relatively high odds of type 1 diabetes, and overall low odds of multiple sclerosis. Most Mansi carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JA-K2 gene, 
and 5 out of 8 samples vary homozygous for the KITLG testicular cancer risk alleles. The Monsi mostly had lower vitamin D levels, lower levels of bad LDL cholesterol, which sets them apart from Europeans who tend to score higher LDL with my tool, and lower levels of good HDL cholesterol. You can purchase all these samples from link in the description. In the description will also be a link to purchase Andre DNA tools and services. Don't forget to leave a like. Goodbye.